ऑडियो बुक साइंस क्लास एट पेज फिफ्टी सिक्स चैप्टर फाइव कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम वी यूज वेरियस मटीरियल्स फॉर आवर बेसिक नीड्स सम ऑफ देम आर फाउंड इन नेचर एंड सम हैव बीन मेड बाय ह्यूमन एफर्ट्स एक्टिविटी फाइव पॉइंट वन make a list of various materials used by us in daily life and classify them as natural and man made for this activity make two columns first one for the natural materials and second one for man made complete the table in your notebook does this list include air water soil and minerals since all these are obtained from nature they are called natural resources bujho has an interesting question can we use all our natural resources forever can air water and soil be exhausted by human activities you have already studied about water in class 7 is water a limitless resource in the light of the availability of various resources in nature natural resources can be broadly classified into two kinds first inexhaustible natural resources these resources are present in unlimited quantity in nature and are not likely to be exhausted by human activities examples are sunlight air second exhaustible natural resources the amount of these resources in nature is limited they can be exhausted by human activities examples of these resources are forests wildlife minerals coal petroleum natural gas etc activity 5.2 it is a group activity take some containers fill them with popcorn peanuts roasted gram toffees divide students into groups of 7 each further divide each group in three subgroups containing 1 2 and 4 students label them as first second and third generation respectively page 57 these subgroups represent the consumers as population is growing second and third generations have larger number of consumers put one full container for each group on a table ask consumers of the first generation from each group to consume eatables from the container of their group now ask the second generation consumers from each group to do the same ask students to observe carefully the availability of eatables in each container If something is left in the containers ask third generation from each group to consume it now finally observe whether all the consumers of the third generation got the eatables or not also observe if anything is still left in any of the containers assume that the eatables in the container represent the total availability of an exhaustible natural resource like coal petroleum or natural gas each group may have a different consumption pattern are the earlier generations of any group too greedy it may be that the earlier generations in some groups were concerned about the coming generations and left something for them in this chapter we will learn about some exhaustible natural resources like coal petroleum and natural gas these were formed from the dead remains of living organisms fossils so these are all known as fossil fuels 5.1 coal you may have seen coal or heard about it figure 5.1 it is as hard as stone and is black in color figure 5.1 coal coal is one of the fuels used to cook food earlier it was used in railway engines to produce steam to run the engine it is also used in thermal power plants to produce electricity 
coal is also used as a fuel in various industries. Story of Coal Paheli is wondering, where do we get coal from and how is it formed? About 300 million years ago, the earth had dense forests in low-lying wetland areas. Due to natural processes like flooding, these forests got buried under the soil. As more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. The temperature also rose as they sank deeper and deeper. Under high pressure and high temperature, dead plants got slowly converted to coal. As coal contains mainly carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization. Since it was formed from the remains of vegetation, coal is also called a fossil fuel. A coal mine is shown in figure 5.2. Page 58 Figure 5.2 has an image which shows a coal mine. When heated in air, coal burns and produces mainly carbon dioxide gas. Coal is processed in industry to get some useful products such as coke, coal tar and coal gas. Coke It is a tough, porous and black substance. It is an almost pure form of carbon. Coke is used in the manufacture of steel and in the extraction of many metals. Coal tar It is a black, thick liquid, as shown in figure 5.3, with an unpleasant smell. Figure 5.3 Coal tar Coal tar is a mixture of about 200 substances. Products obtained from coal tar are used as starting materials for manufacturing various substances used in everyday life and in industry, like synthetic dyes, drugs, explosives, perfumes, plastics, paints, photographic materials, roofing materials, etc. Interestingly, Naphthalene balls used to repel moths and other insects are also obtained from coal tar. These days, bitumen, a petroleum product, is used in place of coal tar for metalling the roads. Coal gas Coal gas is obtained during the processing of coal to get coke. Coal gas was used for street lighting for the first time in London in 1810 and in New York around 1820. Nowadays, it is used as a source of heat rather than light. Page 59 Coal gas is used as a fuel in many industries situated near the coal processing plants. 5.2 Petroleum You know that petrol is used as a fuel in light automobiles such as motorcycles, scooters and cars. Heavy motor vehicles like trucks and tractors run on diesel. Petrol and diesel are obtained from a natural resource called petroleum. The word petroleum is derived from petra, rock, and oleum, oil, as it is mined from between the rocks under earth, as shown in figure 5.4. Do you know how petroleum is formed? Petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea. As these organisms died, their bodies settled at the bottom of the sea and got covered with layers of sand and clay. Over millions of years, absence of air, high temperature and high pressure transformed the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas. Look at figure 5.4. It shows the deposits of petroleum and natural gas. You see that the layer containing petroleum oil and gas is above that of water. Why is it so? Recall that oil and gas are lighter than water and do not mix with it. The world's first oil well was drilled in Pennsylvania, USA in 1859. Eight years later, in 1867, oil was struck at Makum in Assam. In India, oil is found in Assam, Gujarat, Mumbai High and in the river basins of Godavari and Krishna. Refining of Petroleum 
Petroleum is a dark oily liquid. It has an unpleasant odor. It is a mixture of various constituents such as petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, lubricating oil, paraffin wax, etc. Figure 5.4 Petroleum and Natural Gas Deposits Page 60 The process of separating the various constituents or fractions of petroleum is known as refining. It is carried out in a petroleum refinery as shown in figure 5.5. Figure 5.5 A petroleum refinery Option Figure 5.5 has an image which shows a petroleum refinery. Various constituents of petroleum and their uses are given in table 5.1. Many useful substances are obtained from petroleum and natural gas. These are termed as petrochemicals. These are used in the manufacture of detergents, fibers, polyester, nylon, acrylic, etc., polythene and other man-made plastics. Hydrogen gas obtained from natural gas is used in the production of fertilizers, urea. Due to its great commercial importance, petroleum is also called black gold. 5.3 Natural Gas Natural gas is a very important fossil fuel because it is easy to transport through pipes. Natural gas is stored under high pressure as compressed natural gas, CNG. CNG is used for power generation. It is now being used as a fuel for transport vehicles because it is less polluting. It is a cleaner fuel. Table 5.1 Various constituents of petroleum and their uses. Table 5.1 has three columns. The first one is for serial number, second for constituents of petroleum and the third one for uses. Serial number 1. Constituents of Petroleum Petroleum gas in liquid form, LPG Uses Fuel for home and industry 2. Petrol Uses Motor fuel Aviation fuel Solvent for dry cleaning 3. Kerosene Uses Fuel for stoves, lamps and for jet aircrafts 4. Diesel Uses fuel for heavy motor vehicles, electric generators. 5. Lubricating oil. Uses lubrication. 6. Paraffin wax. Uses ointments, candles, Vaseline, etc. 7. Bitumen. Uses paints, road surfacing. Page 61. The great advantage of CNG is that it can be used directly for burning in homes and factories where it can be supplied through pipes. Such a network of pipelines exists in Vadodara, Gujarat, some parts of Delhi and other places. Natural gas is also used as a starting material for the manufacture of a number of chemicals and fertilizers. India has vast reserves of natural gas. In our country, natural gas has been found in Tripura, Rajasthan, Maharashtra and in the Krishna Godavari Delta. Bujo wonders, can coal, petroleum and natural gas be prepared in the laboratory from dead organisms? Paheli is happy to answer, no. Their formation is very slow process and conditions for their formation cannot be created in the laboratory. 5.4 Some natural resources are limited. You have studied in the beginning of the chapter that some natural resources are exhaustible like fossil fuels, forests, minerals, etc. You know that coal and petroleum are fossil fuels. It required the dead organisms millions of years to get converted into these fuels. On the other hand, the known reserves of these will last only a few hundred years. Moreover, 
burning of these fuels is a major cause of air pollution. Their use is also linked to global warming. It is therefore necessary that we use these fuels only when absolute necessary. This will result in better environment, smaller risk of global warming and their availability for a longer period of time. In India, the Petroleum Conservation Research Association, PCRA, advises people how to save petrol or diesel while driving. Their tips are, drive at a constant and moderate speed as far as possible. Switch off the engine at traffic lights or at a place where you have to wait. Ensure correct tire pressure. Ensure regular maintenance of the vehicle. Page 62 Keywords Coal Coal gas Coal tar Coke Fossil fuel Natural gas Petroleum Petroleum refinery What you have learnt Coal, petroleum and natural gas are fossil fuels. Fossil fuels were formed from the dead remains of living organisms millions of years ago. Fossil fuels are exhaustible resources. Coke, coal tar and coal gas are the products of coal. Petroleum gas, petrol, diesel, kerosene, paraffin wax, lubricating oil are obtained by refining petroleum. Coal and petroleum resources are limited. We should use them judiciously. Exercises First what are the advantages of using CNG and LPG as fuels? Second, name the petroleum product used for surfacing of roads. Third, describe how coal is formed from dead vegetation. What is the process called? Fourth, fill in the blanks. A. Fossil fuels are blank, blank and blank. B. Process of separation of different constituents from petroleum is called blank. C. Least polluting fuel for vehicle is blank. Fifth. Tick true or false against the following statements. A. Fossil fuels can be made in the laboratory. True or false. B. CNG is more polluting fuel than petrol. True or false. C. Coke is almost pure form of carbon. True or false? D. Coal tar is a mixture of various substances. True or false? E. Kerosene is not a fossil fuel. True or false? Sixth. Explain why fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources. Page 63. Seventh, describe characteristics and uses of coke. Eighth, explain the process of formation of petroleum. Ninth, the following table shows the total power shortage in India from 1991 to 1997. Show the data in the form of a graph. Plot shortage percentage for the years on the y-axis and the year on the x-axis. The table has three columns. The first one is for serial number, the second for year and the third one for shortage in percentage. 1. 1991 7.9 2. 1992 7.8 3. 1993 8.3 4. 1994 7.4 5. 1995 7.1 6. 1996 9.2 7. 1997 11.5 Extended Learning Activities and Projects First, get an outline map of India. Mark the places in the map where coal, petroleum and natural gas are found. Show the places where petroleum refineries are situated. Second, 
choose any five families of your neighborhood. Inquire whether their energy consumption, coal, gas, electricity, petrol, kerosene has increased or decreased in the last five years. Inquire also about the measures they adopt to conserve energy. Third, find out the location of major thermal power plants in India. What could be the reasons for their being located at those places? For more information, visit www.energyarchive.ca.gov web.ccsd.k12.wy.us web.pcra.org Chapter 5 ends here. Narrator Neeraj Yadav You were just listening to this audio book. Technical Control, Bati Langlingdo. Technical Assistance, Vikas Sangwan. Assistance in Production, Jagbandhu Jana. Direction and Production, Vandana Arimardan. This audiobook is brought to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.